Oh, for God's sake. Right, okay, so I've been really excited to make this video for absolutely ages, right? But, um, KSI titles were calling. So I was like, oh, yeah, Takashi69, right? Some Raj SoundCloud rapper with colourful hair. Yeah. That was some watermelon shit. I'm on my horse shit. He's banging right now, so that's pretty much just a video that writes itself. Aye, right, well, turns out Rice Gum thought so too. Oh, wait, hang on. What's this? What's going on guys? My name is Michael McCredden, documenting the colorful life and career of Takashi 6 9 Prior to fame, here for you up before they're famous. Right, okay, hello, how is it going? I hope you're all well. If you're new around here and you fancy it, feel free to subscribe with notifications on. Also, if you want to call the merch, you can do so at the link below because we got some new designs last week and today we've turned them into hoodies. So if you want to pick up some of them, the link for that will be down below. But anyway, right, if by some chance you couldn't tell, this bloke's name is 6 9 Aye, so if you could whack on my forehead, my neck, my chest, twice. Actually, just whack 94 on my left arm. Honestly, though, right, it's like he's left a whiteboard unattended in, like, a room full of Year 7s and then just decided to get whatever they wrote down tattooed. He actually has the number tattooed on his body over 200 times. Oh, well, isn't that nice to know? 6 9 is just a lifestyle, you know what I'm saying? And it has to do a lot with how I came up. You know what I'm saying? I don't want to get too much into what 6 9 is, you know what I'm saying? Right now, but just I want people to really like understand. So I'm gonna let them know who I am first before they get to know the 6ix9ine. You know what I'm saying? Right now, I know this is about 6ix9ine, right? But can someone push him down some stairs and all? I mean, bro, like, you see this face, bro? Like, no funny shit. I thought with all these tattoos, like, girls would not like me. But I feel like the tattoos make them like me more. They love me. They just love me, you know what I'm saying? They gasp for the air when I'm around. All right, Chugga. So anyway, right, the reason we're here today is, um, there's a few interesting things he's put out. Hey, so you know we hopped out, mobbed out, I'm south. We gon' show what we about. It's just like an aggressive skill. We gon' pull up, nigga, on the leg. Wait, hang on. Is he allowed to say that? Now, if you just listen carefully, you can almost hear the Sun article being written right now. Let's just uh, sort that. Okay, so I recognize, right? If there was some sort of like international panel whose job was to decide who can and can't say this word, that um, I probably wouldn't be the most qualified or like first choice as chairman, but that's looking kind of suspect to me. Okay, so I'm not one to pick on people's appearances, right? All right. Especially whilst I'm looking like I'm off to join the Black Parade. Been allergic to something apparently this week. I'll try and be less clapped in my next video. <laughs> but this whole colourful shite we've got going on here. Surely when he sat down and was like, right, my name is 6 9 and I want to make sure that everyone knows that I am about it. Like, I am proper solid. But what part of him was like, all right, I know what to do. I'll brand myself like a pack of crayons. It's like he's just gone, well, if I've got all the gang colours, no one's going to shoot us. Right, okay, so this might sound like I'm going incredibly off topic, right? But you know when people wear Louboutins, right and they're getting their Instagram picture and they're doing like any next level type of contortionism just to get a flash of red in there well these lot they've taken it to a different level there's one on their fence I way sometimes you just get sick of holding your leg up okay and then his Instagram there's this interview with academics right where he just sits down has a bit of a smile completely ignores the bloke and then just takes his shirt off oh a couple goals those two you think girls like Takashi because he looks like Chris Brown or for his money Chris Brown. Five seconds before this picture was taken, I was picking my nose. Lovely. I'm not gonna lie, I'm a snack. But my favorite bit about this post is one of the replies, which is, you're built like a refrigerator. People think I'm gay, I think I'm cool, I can count to 10 with my eyes closed. I'm sorry, right, but how does this information fit together? Five, six, seven. Shit, what comes after seven? Oh, I think I like cock again. Kuda, the upcoming Rainbow Rapper is working on more trash. Here, check it out. Exclamation mark, fire, shit, fire, shit. Dork, squirt, eggplant, lick, uh, eyes rolled, hundred... What's going on? He said, yeah, nine, innit? It's annoying though, right? Because if you look past all the weird shit, right? He doesn't seem to be that bad a person. I'll do anything in my power to put a smile on someone else's face. Oh, there's like videos of him giving his money back to like schools and that. Oh, hang on. Six, nine, please guilty to misconduct with minor. Never mind. Because there's another gold mine in six, nine funny moments compilation as indicated by the crying emoji and the thumbnail. Always a good indicator of hilarious content. Like this one where he hops out the shower, equipped in only a towel and star toy and money about. Go on, kiss. Niggas know the real gangsters, nigga. I let my nuts hang, nigga. Fuck are you talking about, nigga? Alright. 
Cheers for that information. All my personal favourite here of him just sat on the floor of some random mall, surrounded by money and one shoe. Well, what was wrong with the other one? Like, where's his mate? Okay, again, right, this might seem like I'm going off topic, right? But here's my problem with Snapchat. The heart filter, they're taking the piss with it. Like, they've actually managed to make people like the way they look with it on so much that even blokes that are like, oh, I'm really hard, me. I'm just gonna test my gangster. Or whacking it on in the back of their car to try and be pretty. It's gone too far, man. Right, and then I don't know how much I can show up this, right? But if you move a bit further on, there's this video of a last twerking. And there, he just hops on the bed and hits her with a pedigree. At this point, are you even surprised? We pop by that night, get red cool shit. Taking in that day like Batuki still gets smoked at you. He just looks like a clown, doesn't he? Ronald McDonald's aspo, mate, there. Right, anyway, that's the end of the video. Now, just before I go, right, there's something I want to tell you about. So me, Stephen, Brian, and Lawrence have, um, made our seller channel. It's called XO, and the link will be in the description. So basically, right, we've just been given a budget and free reign to do what we want with it, so we're just gonna go and make whatever the fuck we fancy. Basically, it's mainly gonna be a football channel. Like, me and Steven are gonna be doing this week on football on it, like we did this year on the internet. And we've got some other really big projects that we're working on that I just don't get a chance to be part of whilst sat chatting shite in my room so I'm genuinely really excited for what we're about to put out here so anyway right there's a trailer that's just dropped on there as soon as this video went out so if you want to head over there and check it out and, and subscribe if it's something you fancy feel free to do so anyway i'll wrap this up if you have enjoyed please leave a like if you fancy it go and cop some of my new merch and if you're new around here feel free to subscribe and i'll see you guys later Ha 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 